It's time to rally around one more time, Hard Enduro fans. It's the last day of the Roof of Africa, and an epic battle through the Kingdom of Lesotho lies ahead. Off-road day one, the longest day of the rally, saw Graham Jarvis and Alfredo Gomez fight tooth and nail 100 kilometers in the heat and high elevations, with Gomez eventually earning the best time. You may run. With little rest, the riders must tackle an off-road day two with 115 more kilometers that will push them to their limits. The tension is thick in the early morning air as the riders prepare themselves for the epic journey ahead. Jarvis sets off first, having to blaze his own trail with Gomez only 27 seconds behind. Let's check in with some legends of the roof to see what it takes to be a champion. Hi, I'm Alfie Cox. I'm a nine times Roof of Africa winner. I'm Daryl Curtis. I'm a two times winner at the Roof of Africa. For the rider to win this year, they really have to just pace themselves throughout the entire event and keep some energy in reserve for the big passes. Riders are battling with dehydration. They're battling with cramping. What you've got to eat and what you've got to drink, I think, will be the key factor of winning this event. When I first started doing the Roof, it was 500 kilometers a day. And if you look at our race distances now, Friday over 157 kilometers. But yet the guys are riding the same amount of time. And uh, it's just evolved. It's become so much more technical, so much more difficult. Graham Jarvis is the favorite. I hope he's kept training and he hasn't just come here for a holiday because the young guns are after him. To take the win here, you know, you need everything. Obviously the skill on the bike, but stamina plays such an important part as well. And, you know, concentration over a long period of time. The line between winning and losing is going to become smaller, so you know it's the details that are going to make the difference. Back to the action, Jarvis has his eyes on the prize. But like yesterday, the Spaniard is not letting him out of his sight. As the two stars trade the lead up front, the South Africans' battle for third is heating up as well. Mixed in with the other riders, Blake Gutzeit, Travis Teasdale, and Scott Bouverie are doing their best to keep pace with each other over the rugged countryside. At the service station, the factory teams jump into action, making sure the fatiguing riders get a moment of relief. Out in the wilderness once again, the two hit the 100 kilometer mark, never once having left each other's side. This epic struggle is what Hard Enduro is all about. After 16 hours of grueling riding, seconds are all that separate them. Rising up the last hill climb, it's Jarvis who takes the flag, just nine seconds ahead of Gomez. So I got about halfway through and I knew it would just be a sprint finish, so it's a bit of luck involved, I have to say. You know, when it gets to that stage, we're both riding really good. Big congrats to Alfredo, he's very well. Yeah, it's an incredible feeling, probably the oldest winner as well. <laughs> I don't know. Although Scott Bouvery finishes close behind Teasdale and Gutzeit, the South African's consistent riding earns himself a third place finish. As for the amateurs in the lower classes who finish the legendary roof, the smiles of relief are everywhere. Despite great riding from Gomez and Bouverie, the legend Graham Jarvis wins his fourth roof title and third race of the season, solidifying his status as the best rider in hard enduro. Yeah.